Today the church celebrates the wonderful solemnity of the ascension of the Lord, recalling the event of Jesus being taken up to heaven, his real home and his heavenly father. My soul is restless until it finds its rest in you, my Lord. May the peace and joy of the risen Lord be with you today. Today the church celebrates the wonderful solemnity of the ascension of the Lord. Recalling the event of Jesus being taken up to heaven, his real home and his heavenly father. His return after the completion of the great mission here on earth entrusted by his heavenly father. And this feast tells us that our destina destination also is the heavenly father and his kingdom. And that we need to make a journey towards the same with full focus, practicing the kingdom values. And that we also have a mission here on earth entrusted by the Lord. And we would be accompanied by the Holy Spirit and the Lord himself. Pope Francis says, the Feast of Ascension tells us that Jesus, though ascended to heaven to dwell gloriously on the right hand of the Father, he is still and is always among us. And this is the source of our strength, our perseverance and our joy. And now, having said that, I would like to call your attention to another aspect of the Feast of Ascension. The Feast of challenges each of us to ascend ourselves, to ascend above oneself, ascending our consciousness and ascending above our ego. Man is a spiritual being and therefore one's natural aptitude is to be one with the ultimate divine being, the heavenly father. The one who realizes it would cry out like Saint Augustine, my soul is restless until it finds its rest in you, my Lord. One needs to realize that the true image and likeness of God with which one is created is deep down in the heart and in the subconscious. The real you is hidden underneath. And the real, true and the genuine love which makes everything good possible is drowned in the depth. These need to rise up and ascend above to the higher level. One needs to overcome and ascend the ego, the ego that dominates over every spiritual aspect. Let us recall the warning given by Jesus when he said, if anyone wishes to follow me, let him deny his ego. And this calls one to ascend above everything that is selfish and earthly. The earthly clingings, the worldly desires, momentary pleasures, unnecessary anxieties, craving for wealth and earthly possessions, etc. This will help one to focus better on his journey towards the destination. My dear friend, may the Holy Spirit strengthen you to dive deep and to ascend much high above yourself. The Lord, the Savior, is with you to accompany you. May the risen Lord redeem us and wish you happy ascension. Amen.